You have heard the buzz about DeepSeek v3. It's big. It beats OpenAI, the next big thing. But, but, but. As a corporate data scientist, I am not going to use it. Let me tell you why. But first, we will give credit where it's due, the good stuff. And then I'll explain why I would not touch it. I mean, the model is insane. It's huge. 671 billion parameters. No doubt it costed them $5.5 million to train it. So clearly, it is made to compete against giants like GPT-4 and Claude. And the performance? It is better than Claude 3.5 Sonnet in both mathematical and programming tasks. For God's sake, it is literally double better in programming. Now you're thinking, if it's that good, it must cost a fortune. Nope. It is 10 times cheaper than most competitors. Even without discounts, it's still half the price. And if this is not enough to hook you in, it is also open source. Crazy. On top of it, it gives you OpenAI API-like access with minimal changes to the existing code. You could build anything you want. Insane. But there is always a catch. Did I say it was open source? Yes, it's open source but only if you have 10 RTX GPUs lying around to run it yourself. For everyone else using APIs, you will have to use the DeepSeek API. And here's the kicker. The API is hosted by a Chinese company. In China, businesses don't operate freely. The government can access your data whenever it wants. There is a high chance your sensitive information could end up in the hands of companies like ByteDance or Alibaba. Users have also reported identity crisis, especially with the earlier versions of DeepSeek, because it starts to talk like ChatGPT, thinking it is ChatGPT. Imagine an AI calling itself by the wrong name. That's not just funny, it's concerning. It raises serious questions about the training quality and the model's reliability. For businesses, this isn't just awkward, it's risky. Think copyright violations, hallucinated outputs, and a potential PR nightmare. Honestly, the whole thing feels like a copy-paste of OpenAI. From the API design to the user experience, it's more mimic than innovation. I know this has been China's economic model, but it leads me to doubt DeepSeek's original vision. Lastly, as the company is quite new, founded in 2023, there is no information to judge the API's continuity and downtime. You would not want your entire app to stop functioning if something were to happen in China, right? You should also note that DeepSeek lacks text-to-speech capabilities. So it can't make someone sound like an AI, but OpenAI can. Yep, DeepSeek can't do that. It also can't make Trump dressed as a Chinese guy, because it does not support image models making it unsuitable for any multimodal applications. While DeepSeek v3 is a powerhouse with great potential and insanely cheap costs, these glaring issues make it a no-go for me. It's like a fancy sports car with no brake. Impressive, but dangerous. What do you think? Is the performance worth the risk? Let me know in the comments. See you for the next one.